In this problem, a drug is given via IV bolus and plasma concentrations are drawn, given in the table. We are assuming the drug follows a two compartment IV bolus model and we want to find the equation to model the plasma concentration. This means we'll be looking for a bi exponential equation of the form A times E to the negative alpha T plus B times E to the negative beta T. But first, we need to plot these points. The y range is quite large, so I'll show the graph in Excel. Up until 8 hours is pretty feasible in a 3 cycle log paper though. So now we can use the method of residuals to find the equation. We start with the late phase, which represents the B or the beta side of the equation. We need the intercept and the slope. And to find the intercept, we need to extrapolate. So I'll take out my ruler and then just use Excel to draw the straight line. The intercept is about 10 megs per liter. This would be B. We can then get the slope from the semi-log graph by taking the difference in the natural logs of the y's and dividing by the difference in time. We've gone over all of this in the log graphing video we've done. I'm going to choose some points, uh, 5 comma 0 0.8 and 10 comma 0 0.065, and plug in our numbers to get a slope of negative 0 0.502, which truncates to a beta equal to 0 0.5. This gives us the right side of our expression. To get the A or the alpha side, we need to find residuals. So residuals are just the difference between our measured points and our extrapolated late phase points. And we're extrapolating these late phase points using B times E to the negative beta T, or 10 times E to the negative 0.5 T. The residuals are just the difference between the two, and then we can plot those points. We can then draw our best fit, and then we can zoom in to find our y-intercept of about 20. The slope we'll calculate using the points 0 0.75 comma 1 and 3 comma 0 0.0001. And this gives us a slope of negative 4.09348, which is about negative 4.1. And that would be alpha. So now we just combine all of our constants together and we get an equation of CP equals 20 times e to the negative 4.1t plus 10 times e to the negative 0.5t. Thanks for watching.